are you ready for summer i'll tell you i am so ready we have had a long hard winter and um so today we're going to be doing palm trees i thought that'd be a great thing to do and get us out of this slump that we're in <laughs> so anyway um, be sure and stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to show you a little something extra on cleaning your canvas. So anyway, let's get started. Well, as you can see, I've already put on just a, a undercoating to give you the sense that this is the ocean and there will be palm trees. So to get started, what I like, what I want to do is first do some trunks. Um, to that, I want to double load, so I'm going to take my dark brown, then the other side, a lighter brown, and on that lighter side, I'm going to grab a little yellow, a little white, just a little bit. And then I'm going to turn this brush, because my light is going to be coming from this way. So it's this side, this side that I want the tree lighter. So to start, I just want to bring down, this will be a little bit of smaller tree here. Trees, the trunk of a palm tree is not totally smooth. Like some people just go like that. Well, palm trees have these little spikes and little things in them that makes it anything but smooth. So anyway, so this is the lighter side here. I can grab a little more white here just to lighten this a little more. Ah, that's good. Okay, set that brush aside. And when I say I'm going to dip into some thinner, uh, just a second here, there, okay. What I'm going to do, I just dip and touch my paper towel. All that does is get off all the extra thinner. So when I tell you dip and blot, that's what, I, that's what I'm doing. So I have dipped in blot. I want to go into a little bit of black, maybe a little brown, some of the browns. And I'm just getting a really thin mix. So I'm going to dip again because I want this a little bit thinner. Okay, now making palm leaves, they're kind of droopy. And so we'll just put some in here. Some are longer, some are shorter. Uh, some go out, some go actually up in the air. And you can make these, oh, there's a thousand ways to do this. And if you look on YouTube, you'll see a lot of different people that do palm trees. Everybody has their own method and their own way. So my way is just another method. <laughs> so rinse that brush out. And then I want you to grab your fan brush. Now again, dip and blot so that you have some thinner on your brush because you do want this to be thin to make these little uh, spiky things. So I, I, for the palm leaves, I like a lot of color. So I'll go into a little black, brown, maybe blue, green, maybe even a touch of yellow. And just load that brush, not totally, but pretty good. And when you make a palm leaf, you touch it and flick down. And it's always thicker at the base here, thinner out at the edge. Dip and blot again. Get more paint. Again, touch, pull, pull, pull. Got the yellow that time. You know, um, Yellow ochre and black make a beautiful shade of green. I don't know if you've ever tried it or not, but yeah, it's really pretty. So again, again, see how wispy those are? I love that. Just taking just little bits of all the colors. Cool. 
cool. I think we'll have a little short one here just to break this up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now with the liner brush, I want you to go in, dip and blot, and go into some of this yellow. This is yellow ochre. And I'm just going to make the hint of a stem. Okay, rinse your brush. Now if you want to highlight any of these colors here, um, again, dip in your thinner and blot. And for highlight colors, more of a yellow ochre. And since our sun is on this side, this is the side that we'd want the highlight on. Maybe the light would just hit just a teeny bit down here. Okay. And always uh, rinse your brush out then. And go back to your filbert. And uh, this time go into maybe some, oh, some light brown and a little ochre, just kind of blend this a little bit, and just little coconut shells. We'll have to do that a little more. I'm double, I'm double loading. You usually see a couple, three of these. Wiping my brush out. I want a little black in here to darken the center a little bit. There. That's better. Okay, that's the first tree. Okay, rinse and blot. And now with this same brush again, the filbert, go into, again, we're going to double load now. So dark brown, light brown, a dab of yellow, a dab of white. Okay, uh, this time let's have the trees, palms don't always, they're not stick straight, they're, they're sometimes very wavy. Let's do something like this, just this really crazy. We'll just do really crazy. Oh, I like that. I'm going to load this again, light, little yellow, little white. Make sure that your white is out this way. Oh, <laughs> all right, no problem, that'll be covered. Should have got more white on that. And where, wherever you want to highlight too, you want to put some extra white. Okay, rinse the brush. Then grab your liner, dip and blot. Go into, again, this dark black, black and brown. And let's make some little palm leaves again. This one will be different shaped. We don't want them all exactly identical.
Okay, rinse the brush. And go back to your fan, dip and blot. A little black, a little brown, blue, green, yellow, just a variety of colors. So again, starting at the base, flick. And do it load again. These are so fun once you get into them. They're just they're just a lot of fun. Wish we had real palm trees around here so I could really look at them and study them. Uh, what I did is just go to the internet and look at palm trees on the internet, you know, and uh, look at images, and you'll get a lot of ideas there. Oh, I like that big one. That's cool. And, you know, because this one is just a slight bit closer, maybe we could just do a few more on here. Let's do one up here. Okay, uh, rinse the brush. Now we want to make that little center line, so dip and blot. Go into your lighter color of yellow. Kind of blend that out at the base here. You don't want it to look like a spinning wheel. <laughs> okay. Go into your dark color now. Because we want to go back. We want to do those coconuts. And some light on the other side. And I'm just sort of twirling. I want to put a little bit of darker in the center. Good. And then rinse your brush and the last thing we want to do is probably to just take some dark color, brown, medium, uh, dark brown, light brown, and just Bring your base of your tree out and sort of make like a shadow because the sun would be hitting over here. Okay, it's fun to make little birds, right? So I dipped, whoops. <laughs> I want to just do a dark brown. I've got this very, very thin, almost ink-like. So making a seagull, uh, I like to brace my hand and seagulls usually are kind of lower but they also are kind of M-shaped. So come up, down.
and it's sort of a little blot at the bottom there. Let's do that one again, excuse me. <laughs> Reload your brush. This, this is a shorter, it's like a, it's like a liner brush except it's shorter. So maybe way off in the distance here. Yeah, that's cute. I think I'll just leave that like that. Well, I told you I'd do something a little extra special this time after the lesson. And so, you know, the canvases are expensive. And how many times have you painted a picture that you just did not like? Well, this is a very easy way to clean a canvas. And I do this all the time because I do a lot of practicing. But what you do is take a paper towel I like to use Viva because it doesn't, it doesn't leave a lot of lint on the canvas and it's very absorbent. But anyway, what I do, I dip this in thinner. Now you should probably wear a glove with this, but I don't because I'm so stubborn. <laughs> anyway, just wipe over your canvas. Very simple, very easy to do. I'm going to do the other side. Just Blot again. And I'll tell you, this will save you so much money if you just take a few minutes and do this, if, it, if it's a painting that you don't really like. If you can't part with a painting and you really love it, by all means, keep it. Don't get rid of it. So once you have that thinner on there, just start wiping it off and you will get this canvas just to be squeaky clean again. It'll just be very, very nice. You'll be able to use it within minutes because the thinner dries very rapidly. See, now isn't that a time saver? It doesn't take long at all. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, I think it was kind of a fun lesson. I enjoyed doing it for you. I hope you learned something.